Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small base featuring some of the new blocks from the brand new DLC pack, Frostbite. So we're looking at the Helios Research Habitat, which is this lovely thing right here. So you can see the brand new radar dish spinning around there. We've got our brand new gate, which is going to allow us to get a small rover in and out. And the overall design of this base does look great if you need something small for the Mars-like planet. So pressing F10 and finding the research base in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 665 large blocks featuring the decorative block number 1 and number 2 DLC packs as well as the Frostbite DLC. It features no mods but it does have a few scripts which are written right here which is the solar tracking script which allows those solar panels in the background to continuously track the sun to maximise the amount of power you're getting. So what we're going to do is have a very quick look around the outside then we're going to go for a tour of the interior. So at the very front here we have got our brand new gate to allow us to get a small vehicle in and out. We come up these grey ramps and go all the way inside which is bloody fantastic. Surrounding our gate we got some carbon fibre white blocks which is the main theme of this habitat. So coming all the way around the side there's not too much to actually talk about. We can see windows of the beds. We've got this lovely tower which is our solar array which is attached via rotors with our script to make sure it can track the sun. Then as we come all the way around we see even more little pods for little bits and bobs inside like living quarters, kitchens and all that. We've got a connector at the back, we've got some batteries. This is our way in or out if we're not using a vehicle. So we're using our DLC steps into our catwalks, then into a traditional airlock. On the top there where our radar dish is spinning around, we've got a lovely piece right there which is very well done. We've got some small rotors which then come across onto some small blocks onto a larger rotor which does look bloody fantastic with how it's all been set up. Like I was saying, there isn't really too much to talk about on the outside apart from the radar dish and the solar panels. This is it from a top down view so we can see all the little pods attaching onto our main base and vehicle bay. But that is basically it. So getting into my character, let's come all the way around and drop down. We'll come through our magnificent gate right here. So as per usual, we have to click the button to open it up. It just slides open and in we get. We've got some cargo freight crates on the side there if you just saw some bits and bobs inside perhaps a hydrogen bottle or an oxygen bottle then we can just turn around and close that up and be nice and dark inside. Turning around we come to our other DLC block which is our sliding offset door so we can just open that up and come through. Open that one up and then come through again so that's a small little airlock for you to come into the main center portion of the base which features a Projector table, some armory lockers on the side, all the way around. You saw your gear inside. And then we've got multiple ways to go. Going straight ahead, we come across to our air vent, which is going to make sure this area is pumped full of oxygen. Then we can come across to the left hand side, which is going to be our beds, which we saw earlier outside the windows. Our little kitchen table to have some food. Our Clang Cola vending machine. And we've got some more lockers on the side, which is to store your gun and ammunition inside. Walking all the way to the opposite side, we then have our doorway, which is going to lead to our manual way in and out, which is through this double door right here. Yes, I did just let all the auction out, but it doesn't really matter. But we can close up those doors once again and come through this one. So through this area, we've got our small medical bay. We've got some lockers on the side there, our MRI machine with a programmable block hiding right behind it. The programmable block has the solar script on it. Come around to here. We then have a control seat which is going to be controls for our satellite dish. So over here we can then press number 1 and number 2 to speed it up, slow it down depending on what you want to do with it. Number 3 and number 4 are just to make it a wobble around like so. Guess once you've got the angle you like you can just simply stop it and just have it slowly rotate around. And of course number 5 is the lights on and off all throughout this building. That's what that seat does. And around here we've got our little medical chemical station for you to do whatever with and potential making potions and stuff. And then coming all the way back around we've got an LCD screen showing us our receiving status, our transmitting system. 
and our last signal and all that on there. I don't think this is actually anything, I think this is just typed in there, but it does add a little bit of something. So coming all the way back through, where do we have to go now? That's the doorway. It'll be through this door. So in this doorway, this is sort of like a recreation area where we've got our toilets, which sit right behind here. And we've got some nice cover there to give you some privacy. Another armory locker there for you to take off your gear before you go on there. And a small table for you to have a chat with your friend and look outside the window. Over here, we've got some planters to look out at the Mars-like surface. And that is basically it. It's a very small base purposely designed to try out some of the new blocks, does look great, and you could get some use out of it in a survival world. But that is it for this little base, there will be a link to it in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself, and I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.